Hi, it's Simon. I'm back from Barcelona and over the last few months I've found I've been getting a lot of questions about the best ways to use Notion for productivity and organising your life. From Notion newbies to long-term Notion champions or the thousands of you using and adapting my complete Notion template to be your digital second brain. So I'm going to take an opportunity to answer some of those six most popular questions asked of the best way to use a digital system like Notion to stay organised, productive and stress-free. If you're new to the channel and want to know more about my Notion setup, make sure to check out the videos and playlists via the description below and stick around because I'll share a ton of other useful references and resources in this video to help you go further in creating a digital organisation system that's right for you. Simple or complex? Let's talk about it. The most common question, what on earth is a second brain and what's the point in it? Well, the concept of building a digital second brain is now actually about 10 years old. It's inspired by the seminal productivity book, Getting Things Done by David Allen. Tiago Forte doubled down on that idea that, as Allen says, your brain is for having ideas and not for holding them. And he went and designed the fundamentals of how you would turn David Allen's early second brain concept into a more detailed formula for efficient and effective personal life life management. Say that in a hurry. And all the other productivity buzzwords you can get your lips around. Tiago even released a book this year aptly named Building a Second Brain and it's quite good. One of the key concepts in this was to use what he calls code as a basic process for using a second brain. That is to capture, organise, distill and then express ideas or information. Notion is a great platform for doing this and was my platform of choice to build my own. Why? It's great for capture number one using the web clipper, um, automated integrations like Readwise and creating filtered inboxes, you can quickly capture notes, tasks and highlights. And the much improved search functions in Notion over the last few years really allow you to easily refine material. The best thing about Notion for this kind of organisation though is the ability to build custom dashboard views and to relate different parts of your system together to best serve your needs. For example, feeding research back into a project manager database or linking tasks, projects and life goals together. Well, I suppose the next big question that that's popping up all the time on the channel is where do you start with making your own life organisation system? There are lots of things you can do, but I recommend starting simple and build up from there. Notion has a ton of free templates to start from and adapt, or you can download more advanced examples like mine to use. The top thing to start with is with setting up some simple databases where you will input and store data. These are my favourite starting points for doing that. Actioning things. Make yourself a simple task manager to keep track of your day-to-day to-do list a place to drop tasks and then organize them by priority and due date. Planning, create a place to clarify your goals and vision for the year or the month or whatever. That could be as simple as a page of prompts or building an integrated goal setting database that links into project habits and tasks databases. Knowledge and note taking, the big one that Tiago talks about. Make yourself a knowledge bank. That's what I call it. Ali Abdul calls it his residence calendar for things that he reads, watches or listens to that inspires him. August Bradley, another notioneer, calls it his knowledge vault. Basically it's just a place to gather all the ideas and references you find each day and go, ah, oh, that's great, I should remember that. Create a simple searchable database with categories and tags that allow you to resurface and refine things and link them to other outputs later on. And finally, what about creating? Make yourself a simple project manager where you can plan and make notes on any of the key things that you're working on, whether it's hobbies or freelance projects. I've listed relevant videos on the channel for each of these to get you started in the description to this video. And while you're here, make sure to subscribe if you're not already for more tools, tech, and ideas to simplify productivity and creative life. Okay, the next regular comment I hear, your Notion setups look way too complicated for me. What's the point in putting all the time into making something so complex when you could be getting on and doing things? To be fair, this is a great point. I've always stood by the fact that the simplest system that works for you is the best one. And a few people have commented on how some of my templates look quite complicated. And I would say this, make the day-to-day -day use of your system as simple as possible. For me, Sometimes that is creating more complex formulas in the templates that simplify the user interaction. And sometimes it should just be a checkbox. In this world, efficiency is king. And when it comes to my templates, I've made them to be comprehensive. 
I don't expect everyone to use everything. In fact, the point is it's there to be edited down. If you download big Notion templates like this, work out which bits are right for you, edit it, simplify it, and just throw away what's not relevant. Some people focus on journaling and habit tracking, others are focused on goal setting, others on capturing references and making notes. What's most important is that you use your system based on a way of thinking and that you build habits to make that system work for you. Everything else that's making the process more complicated, you should get rid of it. So here's what I think. For most people, the ideal simple solution will likely be a calendar to plan your time, an inbox and tax manager that helps you take care of your to-do lists, a place for capturing and organizing notes, info and references that you want to be able to find when you need them, and a place to plan set goals or reflect. Now that could be as simple as a journal or a habit tracker or perhaps a guided goal setting template. The next question, should I download a template or build my own? I personally feel it's good to combine both and it's why I publish build tutorials as well as set up tours on this channel. There is no substitute for learning the basics of Notion like relation columns to help link your tasks and projects together or captured references to creative outputs. Building your own system means it's tailored to you. Then again, downloading templates made by Notion masters can help you unlock and understand the power of more complex formulas to create beautiful beautiful reporting views or track progress on something like a progress bar. I try to build templates that allow users to take the ideas they like and throw away the stuff that's not relevant. And question five, what's wrong with pen and paper? Yes, you can do all of the basic processes and thinking behind organizing and capturing tasks and ideas on paper, but what I've loved about a digital system is that it is so much easier to keep everything in one place, easily add to it when you're on the go, on your phone, and find things, most importantly. I find that tagging and relating the inputs digitally means that more of what I write down and capture feeds into meaningful outputs later on down the line, if you've got it set up correctly. There is no way I would have published 100 YouTube videos over the last couple of years during the pandemic without my Notion system. It reduced the amount of friction and work I had to do tenfold. And yes, there is a bit of setup, but it makes all the difference in the long run. All that said, yep, I still write things on paper, just the messy creative bits. It's much better. And if you love your paper notebook or want to keep things super simple, but like the idea of a digital place to keep things, check out my video on analog versus digital planning in the description, it could be one for you. Okay, this is the big one. Why put so much in Notion? Wouldn't it just be better using pre-made apps? First off, I don't simply use Notion alone. Google Calendar, Readwise, and other apps play a big part in my system, but I use Notion as a central hub. It could be anything, Rome, Obsidian, Evernote, all great alternatives with different advantages. The most important idea though, is that you have one clear place to go to in order to find the information you need and have one location you trust to bring things back to your attention when you need to see them. Check out this video on how I've been combining apps to create a fully automated system to capture great ideas and feed them into outputs. I think you'll like it. It would be awesome if you left a comment, amazing if you subscribed, and I'll see you on the next one.